This video will show an example doing the Jefferson method for apportionment. So our problem is the same as we did for Hamilton's. A county school board is dividing teachers between its five high schools. The county can hire 175 teachers. So we have our five high schools and their student population. We found that their total population from summing the different schools population, the total population was 4,875. So we found our standard divisor by taking the total population divided by the number of teachers. And when we did that, we got our standard divisor of 27.857. So to get our standard quotas, we took our student population divided by the standard divisor. And if we look at the minimum quotas, we saw that these summed to 174 teachers instead of 175. So not everyone was accounted for. Now I want to show you a neat function that can help with these minimum quotas. If we use the function round down, cell reference the school, so in this case it's the 31.4 comma, and then put a zero if we want it to round down to zero decimal places. This is neat because as we start changing our standard divisor, it will constantly keep the um, standard quote is rounded down, and then if we sum those, we see that currently they sum to 174, and this will come in really, really handy when we start changing our divisor here in a second. So again, we use that round down function, cell referencing the standard quota comma zero for zero decimal places to get the minimum quotas, and we see that they currently sum to 174. Now, what we've got to do for Jefferson's method is we have to play with our standard divisor and get what we call a modified divisor. That will make our minimum quotas sum to the 175 teachers that we have to work with. So I'm going to change this a little bit. Let's, let's just try a modified divisor. Uh, a modified divisor is typically smaller than the standard divisor. So maybe let's try 27. That's a smaller number. So I'm going to change my, <coughs> excuse me, modified divisor to 27. And I'm going to change my standard quota formula where now we're going to be dividing by that modified divisor. And again, I'm going to hit a 4 to lock in that modified, modified divisor because I don't want it to change. So I want to always be dividing the student population divided by the modified divisor. I'm going to drag this down. And what's nice about this round down function is it automatically is rounding each of these numbers down. So 32.4 is rounded down to 32. 45.5 is rounded down to 42. 44.4 is rounded down to 44 and so on. So we're not having to physically round down every time. And we see that now that sums to 178 seats. Well, that's too many. We only have 175. So we need to change this modified divisor again. And this is where all the cell references start making your life so much easier. Because let's just say, change it to 27 point, I don't know, 27.5. Just picking a number that's a little bit less than 27.85. As soon as I hit enter, it automatically changes everything. It automatically does all the division divided by that new modified divisor. It automatically rounds each one of those down. And then it's automatically summing to tell me how many seats I have assigned. And I'm not having to do those calculations over every time. But I see I'm still too low, so that's not a good number. So we saw that 27 was created too many seats. 27.5 is not quite enough, so let's go somewhere between them. So let's maybe go to 27.25. Everything auto-tabulates, but I'm back up to 177, so that's too small of a number. So let's maybe try 27.3. Be 27.3. Still a little too big. I'm trying to get down to 175. So let's try 27 points, maybe 4. Oh, that's too far. So we see that 27.4 doesn't give us enough seats. 27.3 gives us too many seats. So let's go in the middle, 27.35. And there we go. There is a modified divisor that works. So if we assign the Owen High School to get 31, East to get 42, Lincoln to get 43, Laurel to get 26, and then Dale High School to get 33. That gives us 175 teachers assigned using Jefferson's method.